Hey everyone, thank you so much for being with us till the end of our convolutional neural network. Now it's been a great learning journey at least for me and I hope you had a good learning journey from your end as well. If you have any feedback or if you have any suggestions, do let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to incorporate in the upcoming sections of this videos. Now in this section of convolutional neural network, to just to give you a quick overview as what we have done till now, on the class 13, we started with introduction to convolutional neural network. Now before this introduction to convolutional neural network, I think in the class 12, we had an introduction to the computer vision and what exactly is computer vision is about and uh, how to go about in identifying the objects in the images and what exactly is this important term of computer vision. And from that introduction, we started from class 13 about convolutional neural network and how it actually works. And we also got to know about as what is a convolution operation and what happens inside that convolution operation and we learned about the important parts of the convolution operation that is padding and strides and this is followed by various layers that we have inside our convolution layers the pooling layers or it could be any other layers as well as we have in our uh, convolution neural networks and you have also looked into the structure of this convolution neural networks and in the class 16 we had the hands-on of this convolution neural network with the help of TensorFlow framework. And as you progressed from the class 16, you might have understood about the depth that we went through to learn this convolutional neural network. I mean, we started initializing each and every parameter and we have seen, okay, what is happening when I apply this convolution operation? Whether is it matching a theoretical understanding or not? And what happens if I apply any activation function over there? So we initialize each layers, we initialize the parameters over there and we, uh, got an intuition as what is happening in the real time so we are not we are not just bluffing over there we were just seeing everything in the action and we had values to prove to say it as hey this is how the data is being analyzed or this is how the data is being processed and we took a very deep dive i think i can say about four to five sessions was about deep dive into this convolution operation so we looked into the mathematical working we looked into the pooling layers and then post that we looked into the activation function and then we defined about a typical convolution neural network architecture when it comes to deep learning. Now by the time of class 21, you had a great and in-depth understanding about various layers that we will have inside convolution neural network and also how it actually works individually as well as together. And from the class 22, so we picked up a pace and uh, we started building our own classifier, which is called as cat dog classifier, where we have made use of images of cats and dogs to say what is present in that given image, whether it contains cat or whether it contains dog. And in order to do that, we have built this convolutional neural network from scratch. So we defined the individual layers. And during that time, so we have also explored about how to split the data set from ourselves and to do it, we have made use of OS library to make sure everything is in place. And we have created the three parts, train test validation part. And we have also looked into the concept of data loaders, which will actually help us in pre-processing the data and help us in data augmentation during the training. We looked into those scenarios as well. We have visualized the data. And once that is done, we have performed the fit on our CON2D neural network. And we have seen how to can, how we can improve the neural network that we have built using various the techniques that I have explained in the videos. And after that, so we looked into the advanced concept of transfer learning. Now this transfer learning, uh, we have made use of VGG16, which is a neural network, which is a pre-trained neural network. So we have first understood what is transfer learning and how it can benefit us. And that is followed by understanding how the VG 16 looks like and we have used that VGG16 into our same data set that we are working with that is cat dog classifier and we have implemented that as well and we found that we have been able to reach better accuracy compared to the model that has been trained from scratch. Now if you want to go about and improving that model as well, yes, so after training for a few epochs, so we can just train our entire data set on my entire deep learning neural network that that has this uh, uh, vg16 and see whether it will actually help us in getting a better accuracy as well 
So this brings us to the end of this topic of convolutional neural network along with the learning of transfer learning. So this just marks the end of this section, but not the end of our learning journey. Now in the upcoming module, we'll be looking into the concept of object detection, which is one of the exciting topic guys. So object detection. So in case of object detection, we are not only going to identify who is present in the image, but also where. So that is an exciting thing when it comes to object detection. So we'll do that from the next videos of this video series of TensorFlow. So if you're new to us, please consider subscribing. And if you want the source code, please visit our website manifoldalearning.in and from there click on courses and you'll be able to see the course of deep learning with TensorFlow. Just click over there, click on enroll for free button and enroll in our website and you'll be getting the access to all the source codes that we have discussed in the videos. If you have any feedback and suggestion, do let us know in the comment section and thank you so much again for watching and i look forward to seeing you next time take care